Hi Cancer, welcome to this reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, though you might find it resonates more if Cancer is your Moon or Rising Sign. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, the Tower. Powerful energy, Scorpio energy as well. We have the Six of Wands and we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. This is nice. This feels really powerful. It feels very decisive. I actually feel what I'm seeing already is that your person has decided enough of this hyper-independence, um, enough of overthinking, enough of being logical, rational about this and not having enough balance between my head and my heart. I want success. This card, this Six of Wands, even says success on this, um, or on it. Um, I want to, I want to put my work into this. I want to channel my energy into this. Okay, we have the Hanged Man in the reverse. Yeah, enough of waiting, enough of thinking. Yeah, powerful, fire energy. We have the Ace of Wands here. And it literally says energy, you know? <laughs> Your person wants to direct their time, energy into this. This feels very clear. We have on the back three of cups reversed. So if this has been something that's been in the realm of friendship, your person's saying, nope, it's time to get the passion going. It's time to for me to express my feelings, to stop playing it cool. If um, there has been a disconnect between you, your person is very much focused and intent on bringing this back together, maybe inviting you somewhere, wanting to have a nice conversation with you, to phone you up, you know, whatever it is, bringing in this, um, peaceful fun energy between you um but you know i should say what's behind that it's not just about fun there is focus there is dedication um they have made a, a big decision here we have uh, as i said scorpio we have pisces okay let's see what else i mean this is this this just feels very clear very focused is there anything else please I'm feeling high energy, I'm feeling confident. Um, this is all about taking action here. We have the Six of Pentacles, so equal um, give and take. Yeah, I think in the past your person definitely wasn't giving and um, I think they were even reluctant at times to take. I think this is someone who has equated receiving from people with putting themselves in a weakened position um not because it truly has done in their adult life but maybe you know maybe in the past they allowed someone to support them in some way even emotionally you know and that person then turned it back on them or manipulated them somehow or you know that kind of thing people can say oh well how are you how are you going to treat me like this when i supported you through such and such you know that kind of thing so your person was like never again i'm going to make myself as strong as i possibly can and not receive from anyone so that i can't be manipulated obviously that's not the, mo the sort of the most healthy thing to be thinking and i do see that they have moved out of that and they understand that what is healthy is equal give and take and at times allowing themselves to receive we have uh, the Princess of Discs, so we have the Page of Pentacles here. We have the Queen of Discs, Queen of Pentacles, it says Nurture, and she's very, very pregnant in this deck. So, you know, and it's interesting, this can be like a mother and a child, but I'm not really reading it that way. And, it, you know, we have the child or the young energy, smaller energy first, and then we have the energy of someone maybe who's more mature. So I feel your person saying, I want to give you something. It might start off small. It might be a small gift, but it's a tangible gift. And the reason I'm giving this is because I know that together you and I can grow this into something so much more because I see there is so much potential here. So this doesn't have to be talking literally about pregnancy. Okay, and then we have, yeah, Three of Swords in reverse. So um, there is some sadness, some regret about past pains that have happened, probably from a lack of effort that's been put in. Um, your person may be feeling that there's a need to resolve some of this, to acknowledge this even, um, maybe to have some conversations around this. Um, and I think they're very motivated to make things right with you at this time. Okay, so I would expect to see some action, actually, from your person. 
some sort of a gift, some sort of an offer. It could be a tangible gift. It could be something they've bought, something they've made, created. It could even be, um, you know, them stepping forward, taking action, saying something you've needed to hear, um, bringing you some sort of clarity around something. And it may seem like it starts off slow and steady, but uh, it has the potential to grow a lot. Okay, so is there anything here that's hidden, please? What's hidden? Anything that's hidden that my viewer needs to know, either um, within this connection between them and their person, something that's hidden oops, from themselves. <laughs> Two of cups in reverse. Okay, so what's been hidden is that if there's been any discord, any disconnect between you and your person, the hidden truth is that you have been mirroring one another. You have been thinking of each other. You've both been present within this connection. Um, even if the partnership hasn't been present in the 3D in a grounded way, emotionally, energetically, even psychically, you've had this connection. So there's been mirroring, you've both been thinking of each other, you've both wanted to reconnect. And I feel deep down, neither one of you has given up, given up hope on this connection. I don't think you ever did. Okay, what else please? We have Justice, Libra energy there. Oh, the lovers, exactly. Yeah, Gemini. But we know this could be talking about high vibrational soul connections, twin flames. There's a lot of passion in this card. Nine of Swords in the reverse. So ultimately, Spirit's saying what's hidden from you is that um, your connection is going to win. Karma, balance, justice is going to win at the end of the day here. Um, overthinking, that's going to stop if it hasn't already for both of you very, very soon. Um, I think the passion, lots of stuff going on with the sacral um, chakra here, that's what's going to bring in this renewal of energy. But you know, even these dolphins, we have the dolphins here swimming together, enjoying each other's company. We have the two of cups, obviously we have the two people in the lovers. There is such a connection here, and I think the universe is working overtime actually to try and bring this together. If there's anything that needs to be balanced, to bring that into balance, to bring in a sense of justice, of renewal, of um, abundance here. I'm hearing abundance rather than abandonment, so I don't know if it's been very cold between you both, and all of this warm, orangey, yellow energy feels a million miles away. Spirit saying the hidden truth is that it's actually, you know, very close. I heard knocking on your door. Um, some of you, your person could knock on your door at some point. Okay, let's see what else. What's hidden here, please? Yeah, look at that, Ten of Cups in reverse. Um, okay, so you've always both me thinking about the potential here, wanting reconciliation. We have this Three of Cups again on the back. Um, for those of you who were in, maybe you have maybe had a family situation with your person, if that has changed, you know, if one of you pulled away or left or something changed within your family dynamic, um, it could be that both of you have been thinking about what if we reconnected, what if we brought this back together, maybe missing um, some of the happier aspects of, of being together in this relationship or this family dynamic. We have the Emperor in reverse, Aries, we have the Nine of Cups and we have the Fall in reverse, Aquarius. Okay, so one of the key things that Spirit is going to be bringing balance to, evening out, is if there has been some stubbornness, um, quite a bit of stubbornness actually. I think that probably connects to this hyper-independence we saw right at the start. So um, this is probably your person um, being unyielding, wanting to do things their way all the time. Um, if they had a set idea in their mind before they even met you about how their life would look, who they would be with or whether they would be single forever um you know those sorts of things and they weren't willing to budge spirit is working behind the scenes to shift this so let's see how let's see what this looks like oh look at that oh that's uncomfortable three of swords with the seven of pentacles reverse so i think your person has felt the pain of losing you the pain of believing whether it's true or not that they took too long your person could be thinking right now this is yeah this makes sense why they're so motivated to gift you something to um to you know take action and show up properly because they think they have lost you they think they've missed out on an opportunity here that they were too stubborn too rigid too fixed Oh, okay. What they don't know just yet is that this is spirit 
kind of um, teaching them a lesson, not in like a negative sense, but literally like a life lesson. They're learning something here. Maybe they're understanding what it feels like to be the one that's out in the cold or to watch you living your life or to feel that no matter what they try at this point, you might not want to give them any attention. You know, it depends on your situation, but I think they're learning um, something here about what it has felt like for you in the past. Mm, okay. So they could have been through something quite um, heavy, difficult. I even heard dark for some reason. Maybe a dark night of the soul, something like that. Okay, so let's have a look. What is this wish coming in? The Nine of Cups with the Lovers is pretty good energy to see in terms of what's hidden here. Um, three of Cups in reverse. So if you have wished for a third party personal energy to be gone, that could be happening. If you've wished for your person to make a decision, a choice, um, and to step up, that, you know, we've already seen that happening. If you have wished for a reconciliation, that can definitely be happening. Going out, maybe having a drink or having some food or whatever you do for fun, especially with the Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups. These two cards can talk about doing something that's kind of social, just really for enjoyment, something that's about indulgence, whatever it is that you like to um, indulge in, whatever you do for fun. I just feel a general kind of ease, um, you know, relaxing into this connection more, allowing the passion to move you both along, <clears throat> neither one of you resisting. I do see it's really been this emperor who's been resisting in the past. Okay, so let's see why the fool is reversed. Queen of, oh, wow. Look at this, king of swords on the back, queen of pentacles in reverse. Now, we already have seen your person can see you as the queen of pentacles, an amazing, stable, beautiful, charming, handsome, charismatic partner. Basically an ideal life partner for them. They give you this page of pentacles energy because they can see the growth that can happen moving into the queen of pentacles. Now we know they have this fear, this concern. This is divinely guided, divinely planned that maybe they have lost the chance here with you. Um, they're going to realize they can still put in effort and try and turn this around, but they have gone through this period of really, really being in this horrible, desolate space where they felt like, well, that's it, I messed up. You know, I think they needed to experience that for some reason. Um, However, they have this concern that although they can see the potential for all of this growth, it's up to you now. I mean, they're not concerned that you get to make a choice. Of course, you, you, you're you entitled to make a choice, but I think they don't feel as confident as they did before. And now they're doubly sure that this is something they want to give themselves to. It's kind of uh, nerve wracking for them. So, Queen of Pentacles reverse with the Fall in reverse. I actually think they're onto something in that you're not going to leap without looking. You're going to be this King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords is not um, bitter. Sometimes the Queen of Swords can be a little bit bitter, a little bit um, uh, pessimistic even. Not the King of Swords. He's taken the lessons, the wisdom. He's left the pain behind. So this isn't you being manipulative, playing games. This is you saying, okay, well, yeah, we had a great time. I'm so happy we've reconnected. But in terms of this moving into something serious, I'm not going to get my hopes up because I've done that before until I see that you're also committed to this being something serious. So I think you are being very wise, very, you know, it's like you're letting your head lead the way, not your heart here. So your person's kind of right in that there's more of a guardedness about you now, but I think it's just sensible. It's just rational. It's not coming from a place of ego or fear or anything like that. It's just, it just makes sense. Wow. Okay. So um, let's see what they want you to know. Let's see what messages they want to leave you with. And I don't think Nine of Swords reversed. Well, first of all, the thing is you're saying, I'm not prepared to get back into a space where I'm stressed. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I'm putting my hair out. You know, I'm not doing that. The other thing is you're not going, you're just not going to feel that way. You're going to be quite at peace with the speed at which you're moving, the moves you're making, the things you're saying. Very calm, very in alignment here. 
Okay, so Spirit, what messages do my viewers or does my viewers person have for my viewers? What messages do they have? Yes, look at this reveal. I want to tell you the truth. They're going to reveal their truth very soon. I, I really feel this is about action, seeing action from your person. We have habits. I don't know if we will ever change. Um, that makes me think of that stubborn emperor. They could be wanting to tell you the truth is I can change. I have changed. If I'm doing something in my life that means it's difficult for us to move forward, I have changed that or I plan to change that. We have confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. Yeah, I now know where I stand very clearly. I know exactly what I want, but now I'm not sure, you know, what you want with me. <laughs> and we have chase that I don't want to chase anymore. So they have been feeling a little bit, um, you know, left out in the cold here. Even if it looks the other way, your person, remember there's been mirroring with that two of cups. Your person has been feeling your absence. They've been feeling like they're watching you live your life while they're on the sidelines. And look, we have reunion. We will always come back to each other. And that's underneath reveal. So whatever they're going to reveal to you, I'm thinking of that page of pentacles again, it's going to bring in a reunion here. We have time. Yeah, I'm afraid it's too late to take action. I'm afraid it took me too long to change my habits. Destiny, I'm struggling to find the right path. I think maybe we could read that as I'm struggling to figure out the best way to come towards you. I'm struggling to figure out where this path is going to take us because really I need to hear what you think about this. Okay, what else? We have unworthy. You're a better person than I am. Okay, so we can see that they now feel that... Um, you know, if they want this to come together, they're the ones who are going to be chasing you. They might feel like they are not worthy of you. They've got you on a bit of a pedestal here, that they're going to have to do something quite amazing to get your attention. Okay, so what other messages, please, Spirit, does this person have for my viewer? We have, um, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. That's the um, Ho Oponopono um I don't know mantra I don't know don't really know like what it's called but um when you're trying to clear the energy from something um saying I'm sorry please forgive me thank you I love you over and over um until you feel it's cleared um that's a technique that that people use almost as a way to sort of clear the past rewrite the past in a way so they could be trying to accept what's happened, things they've done, you've done, things that were said, things that weren't said, um, trying to just say, look, that was what it was. I accept that was where I, that I was at the time. Um, and now I'm ready to move forward and make some changes. You know, I forgive myself. I forgive you. <clears throat> I love everything actually that's happened, even though it's some things have been difficult because they've got me to where I am now. I hope you're ready to make some major life changes quickly because I'm going to sweep you away. Think about simplifying your life as best you can because I anticipate this moving fast. Um, <clears throat> was this, this came through, I think, trying to get this so there's no glare, um, in the, was it the Twin Flame reading I did on Friday? There was a reading I did recently where I was saying, um, I think it was that one, I think it was right at the end, the guidance and advice or... Um, where, where this is going over the next month. Um, and I was saying, you know, it looks like you might need to be thinking quite seriously about, do you really want this? Are you really ready to make the changes that are required? Because it looks like something is coming in. And, you know, we have this message repeated here, which is very interesting. So it could be thinking about career changes, relocation, um, changing up relationships. Um, what I'm going through would burden you and I don't want to add stress to your life. I'm protecting you from all the drama, so please trust I know what I'm doing. So they could be, um, you know, dealing with some things, especially when there are people, um, other people involved, you know, friends, family, work situations, that sort of thing. And they're saying, let me deal with this practical side of things. I don't want to drag you into this. I know if I continue to ignore you, I could lose you. You'll hear from me within a relatively short time. I think of you and just, I want you just as much as you want me, trust me. And that's really everything we were seeing. They're worried they're gonna to take too long. They've been thinking of you too. Expect to hear from them, expect them to pop up, reveal something, say something.
Your healing is also causing me to heal. I can feel huge shifts within me. Please keep on working on yourself to help me expedite, expedite my healing. Keep focusing on you, it's working. Um, okay, so mirroring, again, one another. If you've been doing your inner work and you're wondering, um, has it had any effect? Has it been helping? The answer here is yes. We have, um, I <laughs> again, I plan to call or visit within a matter of weeks if all goes as planned. I'm having to do a lot to get ready and don't want you to know I'm coming. Whoops, I think we may have spoiled that surprise. Um, so please just be happy and know I'm on my way. I'm thinking of you right now and it's putting a smile on my face. I can't wait till we're face, it, till we're face to face. I always get giddy the closer I get to coming to see you. I'm closer than you think. Oh. I don't know if it felt a bit creepy, but <laughs> it's not supposed to be. Um, okay. Maybe they're closer to coming forward than you think. Okay. I'm working on a plan to surprise you right now and don't want you to have a clue about when, where, or how it's coming. Surrender to the mystery. It'll be worth the wait. Another message, similar message. I, oh, I'm dealing with a stalker. Wow. It's a dangerous situation I don't want you to be involved with. As soon as I feel I have a handle on it and feel safe, I'll let you know. Okay, so for some of you, um, that could link to this, the burden they're going through that they don't want to drag you into. Now, for others of you, what I feel with this message here, I'm closer than you think, your person could be stalking you a little bit. Hopefully not in like a creepy, dangerous way, but you, they might just have a closer eye on you than you realise. Okay. So let's get some final messages here about this connection. Okay, so we have manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. We have, um, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. <clears throat> and we have, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united, for love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. Again, right, you know, that message repeated from the start that you have been connected all this time. I feel with this message about, you know, taking nothing with you but your memories, um, your person's really been asking themselves, what is important to me? You know, these 3D concerns I've had that, I, that, you know, things that felt so important, are they really? What's important is you to your person and manifesting miracles. The miracle could be all of this movement that we're seeing, your person reaching out, your person gifting you something, your person showing up, your person putting in effort, showing up, changed. Even, you know, feeling like and believing your person has undergone some sort of um, leveling up transformation that could feel kind of miraculous to you in and of itself um but it's clearly there's clearly something going on with that we have that you know a very strong message throughout so um i hope this has helped thank you so much for watching like i said this week i'll be doing the zodiac readings um thank you again to whoever sent this really beautiful deck and um hopefully i will see you again soon bye